You guys, today was one of those days where I felt like I needed a little TLC, okay? I need a mini makeover, I don't know. Do you ever have those days where you're just like, feeling like you need to switch up your routine a little bit, maybe pamper yourself just a bit, like not a full makeover, but just a mini one, you know, to boost your self-confidence, to kind of make you feel pampered in a way. As I was planning this video, I couldn't get the Princess Diaries quote out of my head. So that's a thousand percent like part of the inspiration behind this video. We all know the scene where Mia is getting a makeover and Paul goes, because your majesty, only Paolo can take this and this and give you a princess. <laughs> had to, you guys. I had to, okay? So that's what we're doing today, you guys. I'm giving myself a mini makeover and I'm so excited because I'm actually partnering with Briogeo again, one of my favorite brands of all time. I've been using Briogeo products for years and I'm so excited to be working with them on the video because today I'm giving you VIP access to their holiday sale. This is so exciting. I have a code, it's Alley 30 You can get 30% off site-wide and that includes all of their sets. They have a bunch of really amazing bundles which make great gifts for the holidays. The set that I'm obsessed with personally is this Briogeo Mega Moisture Hair Duo. This is what I used in my hair today just to add a little boost of moisture, shine, hydration. It's absolutely everything. Like, look how shiny my hair is, you guys. You can't make this up, okay? I didn't put any other product in my hair today. I just used these. I obviously washed my hair. I started off with one of my OG favorite products. So I washed my hair with the Briogeo Be Gentle, Be Kind Matcha and Apple Replenishing Shampoo. And then after I shampooed my hair, that's where this hair duo comes in handy. So first I went into this Superfood Mask. I love all of Briogeo's products, especially their Superfoods line, but I specifically love their hair masks more than anything. So this is one of my favorites. You use this in place of your conditioner once a week for just a crazy boost of hydration. It's also gonna give you tons of shine. It makes my hair so soft as well. I love it. So first I go into the Briogeo Superfoods Avocado and Kiwi Mega Moisture Hair Mask. I love to use this in place of conditioner once a week. I like to put it through the ends of my hair and leave it in for about 15 minutes. And then I rinse it out and after I get out of the shower, that's when I go in with the Briogeo Superfoods Avocado and Kiwi Mega Moisture 3-in-1 Leave-In Spray. This has so many nourishing ingredients in it. It also acts as a detangling spray. It helps with your hair's dryness and there's ingredients in here that helps protect it against UV rays. It just restores moisture like nothing else and I love how it detangles the hair as well. There's something about the texture of my hair that it just tangles really easily. So I love to spray this through the mid legs to the ends of my hair after I shower and then brush it through my hair and it really does help to gently detangle my hair, which is so important because it's the worst when I feel like I have to tug at my hair if I have any tangles in it. But this really helps the hairbrush to glide effortlessly through my hair. And then after that, I just style it as usual for an extra, extra boost of shine. I always finish off my hair styling if I've used a hairdryer with a blast of cold air. That way the shine is like triple. I swear to you, there's something about it and it just kind of helps create more of a sleek look to the hair with hardly any effort at all. So if you can't tell, that was my first step in my makeover today and I absolutely love it. Again, you can have early access to their holiday sale using the code Alley 30 It works on all of their sets, which are already discounted. So when you use my code on top of a set like this Mega Moisture Hair Duo, you actually save over 50%, which is amazing. So it's great for gifting for the holidays, whether it's to yourself or to a friend or family member. And as always, all of Briogeo's products are packed with nourishing, incredible, very effective natural ingredients. None of their products have sulfates or silicones or phthalates, parabens, artificial dyes, or DEA. So all of the results that you get from here are not just an illusion. It actually restores the health of your hair. You guys know how much I love this brand and I'm never not using Briogeo in my hair care routine. Their products are genuinely my favorite. They really have improved the overall health of my hair over time. They have so many incredible products, so whatever you're looking for, and no matter your hair type or texture, there's gonna be something that works perfectly for you. So I will have everything linked down below for you guys. In addition to doing my hair today, I also wanted a little bit of a nail refresh, so I painted my nails. Um, today I really wanted to go with something like wintry, I don't know. I was feeling like 
painting my nails more of a fresh color, but not something super summery or springy. And I feel like this one's perfect. This is actually from Lights Lacquer. It's from their Zodiac collection. This is the Cancer shade and it has like a little bit of a silver reflex. So I just thought that it would be perfect for this vibe. So I really love painting my own nails at home. I just feel like it's a great way for me to boost my confidence. And I'm really loving this color. I wanted to try something different, something that I hadn't used before just to really refresh my routine a little bit and add something special and exciting and new into my week this week. So I'm loving this color so much already. All right, so let's do our makeup. I'm gonna just pin my hair back so it's out of my face. And when I was thinking of like a makeover, I wanted to use some products that I was really familiar with, but also throw in some new products to just spice things up and again, refresh my routine. So I'm gonna try out a new product that I've heard really good things about and I just haven't had a chance to try it. So this is the Kosas Plump and Juicy Vegan Collagen Spray-On Serum. So this is actually a skincare product from Kosas. Ooh, it's a very nice fine mist. So I really want to like pamper my skin as well. I haven't put anything on my skin. I just did my hair and came down here to complete the look. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray this all over. Ooh, let's see. This is supposed to be firming. It's supposed to be lifting and plumping. It's supposed to have microbiome balancing plant probiotics. That sounds lovely. I do a little more. <laughs> as soon as I hear probiotics, I'm like, ooh, more. <laughs> I'm just gonna kind of press that into the skin. And then we're gonna hydrate the face. I wanted to use something, this is an old favorite of mine, but it's been a while since I've used it in my routine. It's the Embryolease Moisturizer. This is amazing for underneath makeup, but it's also ultra hydrating, which I just feel like I need. I really felt like my hair and my skin <laughs> needed a crazy boost of hydration because the weather has changed so much here. It is now freezing, it's actually crazy. And with that, I feel like comes a change in my skin and in my hair. So time to up the moisture in my routine personally. That's what I do every winter. So I'm just kind of giving myself a little mini face massage as well. I'm also going to apply an eye cream. This is another old favorite of mine, the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Eye Base. It's so good and it works beautifully underneath makeup. So just want to take a little bit of that under both of my eyes. And then I'm going to kind of blend that out with my ring finger and be really gentle around the entire eye area just gently depuffing the eye area as well. And then last but not least for prep, we cannot forget to use a lip mask or a lip balm. So I'm gonna use my Laneige one. And honestly, there's days where it feels like a mini makeover to just stop at skincare. I didn't do a major like skincare routine today because I actually have a facial tomorrow. So I didn't wanna overwhelm my skin, but the extra hydration in the skin prep for makeup definitely won't hurt. Oh, I feel so much better. I really, I cannot live without like a good facial moisturizer, especially like as the weather gets colder. It makes all the difference in the world. So I'm gonna go in with an old favorite of mine. I really just wanted to switch things up in my routine, like I was saying. And so I grabbed this from my foundation drawer. It's been so long since I've used it, but I used to use this all the time and really loved it. And it just seems like something hydrating and nourishing, which is just kind of like the theme and inspiration behind today's makeover. So this is the Pixi Beauty Balm. I have mine in the shade Cream, and it's basically just a BB cream. I'm gonna take just one pump of that on the back of my hand, and we're gonna start to apply this all over the skin. This also has very hydrating ingredients in it and really great coverage as well, which is what I wanted because I felt like I had a little bit of redness in my skin today. So I want the coverage, but I don't want it to feel heavy or drying on the skin. So I'm hoping this will do the trick. So far, so good. It looks really nice. I'm just pressing that into the skin using my sponge. Okay, for concealer, I wanted to revisit this Charlotte Tilbury Radiant Concealer or Beautiful Skin Radiant Concealer. Mine is in the shade Too Fair. I'm just gonna dot that underneath the eye area. And then I'm actually gonna leave the rest of the skin as is without concealer. And I'm just gonna press that into the under eye area with my sponge. Next, I'm gonna set the face using the Rare Beauty Setting Powder in the shade Light. It's been a minute since I've used this. This is such a stunning powder. So I'm gonna go ahead and press that underneath the eyes to start and then through the T-zone. And then I'm gonna take a larger brush and just take the same powder to set the outsides of the face. I'm gonna go ahead and bronze up the face using my Maybelline City Bronzer. This is such a good one. So I'm just warming up the entire complexion, kind of getting it into the hairline so that there's no starting and stopping point. Also going along the jawline and dragging that down the neck. Okay, I'm just gonna fill in the brows really quickly using my Milani Precision Brow Pencil. And then we're gonna try a new eyeshadow palette that I've been dying to dip into. I'm so excited and I'm so inspired by it already. Okay, so brows are filled in. 
I am so inspired and just ready to try this new palette from Natasha Denona. I just barely received this in PR. This is her retro glam palette and I feel like it's perfect for like the winter time and even into spring. Look how stunning this packaging is. I'm thrilled about this. And look at the inside. Oh, I'm so excited. It has just the most beautiful kind of retro cool tones in it and I'm just, I can't wait. Like I just really feel like this is so inspiring. I really wanted to bring in something exciting into this mini makeover so that I could feel creative and inspired, but like not too many new things to where it overwhelmed me, you know? So I am thrilled to try out this palette. I'm gonna take off the mirror protector, which is always so satisfying. We are going to start off with the shade Lucy at the bottom. It's just like a really nice brown tone. I'm gonna take this on a fluffy brush and use this in the crease of my eye and a little bit above as my transition shade. I think this is such a fun twist on like a holiday palette. Cause again, to me it's very wintry, but it's not your typical super glitzy, like golden bronze holiday palette. It's like wintry colors that are a little bit more pastel, which I think is really pretty. I'm taking that same color Lucy and just going along the lower lash line with this. I'm gonna deepen things up a little bit with this shade right here called Faye, which almost has like a little bit of a green tint to it, doesn't it? Ooh, it's like a greenish brown. I'm just gonna use this to kind of sculpt the outer portion of the eye. For today's look, I really don't want to go too over the top with the eye colors. What makes me feel the most confident with a mini makeover type of a situation is not like overdoing it. I like to incorporate new things, but I still wanna feel like myself basically is what I'm trying to say. So I'm probably not gonna be able to try every single color in this palette today, but we'll hopefully get a good feel for it. I feel like we have to use some greens in here. So I'm gonna go into Marlin, which is a really pretty kind of sagey green. And I'm gonna tap this onto the center of the eyelid. Ooh, that is so pretty. Oh my gosh, I love that color. Wow, and it's so pigmented too. Normally I apply shimmer shades with my fingertip, but this is applying absolutely beautifully with a brush. Ooh, Ooh I love that. I'm dipping into that same color on a more flat brush and I'm just gonna run that across the lower lash line just to mimic the same color that we have going on on the top lid, on the lower lash line as well. What a pretty shade. I don't think I have anything quite like this. And if I do, it's not this high quality. Like I feel like pastel shimmers and pastels in general are really hard to formulate something high quality and this is so pretty, wow. We're gonna dip into this gorgeous shade right here called Flutter. I'm gonna take my fingertip for this and I'm gonna go into like this inner portion of the eye right here. This has more reflex, like more visible glitter flakes in it, but that's what I like about it. So pretty, I'm just gonna press this into the inner corner. And then when I have a little less on my fingertip, I'm gonna kind of drag it and press it into that green so that there's a nice gradient. Oh, so pretty, wow. This palette, oh my gosh. It's so unique. Like I genuinely don't have anything with this color story. I'm really excited and inspired. Ooh, so pretty. I'm gonna take a small brush and take Flutter and just go right underneath the lower lash line right here. And then I kind of want to take this shade called Palladium, I think, right here. It's like a silvery, or I should say shimmery, pastel green. How cool would this be as the inner corner color? The answer is cool. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Ah, oh, I'm thoroughly enjoying this if you can't tell. Just gonna go back in with the brush we used in the crease and just buff around the entire eye area. Usually with lighter colors, I feel like things can look a little funny until you apply it mascara. So we're gonna apply mascara now. I'm just gonna use my Maybelline Lash Sensational, one of my favorites. This one never lets me down. I wasn't in the mood to try a new mascara today. So I just needed something that I know I would be confident wearing and that would work well for me. So we're gonna layer this up on the top and bottom lashes. So before I add the lower lash mascara, I'm actually gonna take my Charlotte Tilbury Super Nudes pencil, and I'm gonna take the nude side and use this to line the waterline. I just don't want these like lighter pastel colors to emphasize any redness in my waterline. So this will help things stay bright and fresh and help me look more awake. Okay, now we're gonna apply the same mascara to the lower lashes. As part of my mini makeover, I actually ran over to Ulta today to grab a lipstick that you guys made me wanna try so badly. So when I posted the top 10 lipsticks according to you, this formula ranked in the top 10 
And this shade was mentioned so many times, I was like, I have to pick that up. So it's the MAC Matte Lipstick in the shade Mare. It's like a cool tone pink, I guess. And I just thought that this would be the perfect time to add a little something to my routine. And I feel like it will look so pretty with this eyeshadow palette. So here it is. Ooh, oh my gosh. Here it is swatched on my hand. I'm so excited about this. I'm gonna apply the lips first and then we'll do blush and highlight after. Let's see. I want a little bit of a lip liner, so I'm just wiping off any foundation that got on the lips. And thanks to the lip balm, my lips feel very nice and prepped and hydrated and ready for a lipstick. Um, so this is Makeup Forever Wherever Walnut that I'm using to create a little bit of a shape on the lips. And I feel like the lipstick shade is actually a bit deeper than this, but that's okay. I just want a little bit of structure with a lip liner. All right, let's apply that MAC lipstick. I'm just gonna start by kind of dabbing it in the center. Oh, how pretty is that? Then I'm gonna press it into the lip liner using my fingertip. That color, are you kidding me, you guys? I can see why so many people love this. <gasps> oh, I'm so happy I picked that up. It's so pretty. Now that I have the lip color on, I feel like the eyes are missing a little bit of pink. And luckily, we've got some pink colors in here. So let's go into this one right here called Belle. It's a beautiful, more matte pink. And I'm gonna throw that right here into the crease. Ooh, see how that like, connects the dots. I think that definitely helps pull the entire look together. I'm also taking a little bit of the pink and going right here on that lower lash line as almost a transition shade on the lower lash line as well. Okay, I wanted a nice cool toned blush. So I grabbed my Persona Cosmetics Super Blush in the shade Bubble. It's this gorgeous like wintry pink shade. I'm just gonna take some of that and apply this to the apples of the cheeks just to add a bit more of a flush. Okay, before I apply highlighter, since I do have a cream highlight I wanna use, I'm gonna assess the situation now with bronzer so that I can touch that up and add a little bit more. So I'm just gonna take that same Maybelline bronzer and add a bit more to the forehead. And then I wanted to use my Lisa Eldridge Elevated Glow Highlighter in the shade Pink Moon. I'm just gonna put a dollop of that on the back of my hand. And I'm gonna pick it up with my sponge and then just press that on the high points of the face for just a gorgeous kind of lit from within pink kind of a glow. I think this is so pretty. This actually looks so nice with the eyeshadow palette. Okay, I really like where things are at. I'm just gonna add a tiny bit more blush, just for good measure. And then we're gonna set the face. I'm gonna use my Benefit Professional Super Setter, just all over the skin, to lock everything in place. Uh-oh, I got a little bit of a dot on my forehead. Oh, it's drying, I think. <laughs> Once it's like halfway dry, I'm just gonna take my sponge and press it down into the skin. And then I'm gonna take what's left on the powder brush, just go over the T-zone one more time. And then I'm gonna lock my brows into place with my Milani Clear Brow Gel. And then I think that'll be it for my mini makeover. Goodness gracious, I'm loving this makeup look. All right, let's take the hair down. Well, I feel so pretty in this look, and I feel like it's something a little bit different, but I still feel like myself, which is perfect. That's exactly what I wanted when it came to a mini makeover. I didn't wanna do something that I've done before, but I didn't wanna go so far out of my comfort zone to where it didn't feel good to wear it. And I feel so pretty and just like pampered after my shower today, adding a little extra TLC to my hair and then switching up my routine a little bit, but also keeping it wearable really made me feel confident. I'm so excited about this look. I'm especially loving this lip color and the eyeshadow palette. I'm super excited about that. Oh, before I forget you guys, I also, I always feel like a new fragrance really helps boost my mood and just, you know, makes me feel a little bit different. And recently Dead Cool collaborated with Youth to the People and they launched this fragrance. I love Dead Cool, by the way. It's like my favorite fragrance brand, but this is called Cosmic Release and it smells so good. Oh, I'm gonna spritz this all over just as a finishing touch. Whoop like this. Mm. It smells so good. If you're familiar with the Lalabo Santal 33 fragrance, it smells it's very similar. I don't know if it's like a dupe necessarily, but it's just in the same family where it's kind of like this unisex, very earthy fragrance. Mm. That smells nice. All right, you guys, so I hope you enjoyed this mini makeover. I hope you enjoyed seeing this makeup look. I am genuinely so in love with it. 
I feel so pretty. It's very unique, but it still feels like myself. I'm just, if you can't tell, I really love it. Again, huge thanks to my friends at Briogeo for sponsoring today's video. You guys know how much I love them. I've literally talked about their products for years. So don't forget to shop their holiday sale early using my code ally 30 Again, everything will be linked in the description box down below. You can't go wrong with anything. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed this transformation as much as I did. Again, just for kicks and giggles, let's put a little side by side of the before and after, okay? I love a good before and after. I love a good makeover like transformation. So <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this makeover. Let me know what you guys end up picking up from Briogeo in the comments down below. If you're new here, I would love for you to join the family. You can do so by hitting the subscribe button. And then after you subscribe, just click on the notification bell and you'll get notified every single time I post a video so you won't miss an upload from me. I hope you guys have an amazing day wherever you are and I will see you in my next video. Love you. Bye.